We're here with John Joyce, who's making his professional debut on the 4th of April in the National Stadium. Uh, John's a very interesting story. He's a military instructor with the Irish Army. Uh, he's touring professional now, he's just having his first professional fight, as I say. He's 30 years of age, he's starting relatively late. Tell me, John, what prompted you to go down this avenue? Well, every boxer's dream is, as you know, to become professional. I've been watched by Tony Dobbin, who was boxing, and seen me boxing as an amateur, and thought I, well, he thought I was made for it. Pretty good. So, he got on to a friend of mine, Barry O'Mara, who's actually coaching me now as well, and asked me to come down to the gym to have a look at my sparring. And I get in and I've done the four round sparring with uh, Stephen Carroll, Shorty, oh, I everybody knows him as. And uh, I've done four rounds with him, and I've done the typical fashion of the amateur on the outside, running around like a lunatic, and I got through two rounds, and I was nearly exhausted because he had to wear me down so much and he came on to me two rounds and I kind of said to myself I want to be there and I want to be able to do that like and I progressed from there and he seen that I did have a bit of power behind me and thought that the pro game would suit me down to the ground and, just and how do you find the transition do you now that you've adapted and that you've had a bit of training into the gym do you find that you're comfortable with that? I prefer it to be honest I think it's it kind of does suit me much better because like, I I'm very, very fit down to the job as well, being in the army. It's required for me to be as fit. And okay. I'm extremely fit, a great stamina, and I just thought, oh, I, I enjoy the longer rounds rather than this quick paced three round stuff. I'd rather the, the slow it down, pick me shots, and nice progression. Okay. Over. And I will see him from, from what I gather, like, there's no problem with you going to war because you do it, you do it on. You do it on a daily basis, like <laughs> so. You're, you're you're a military advisor and instructor in the army. So tell me this: Does um how does how does that how do the army how do you feel? Does that make it easier for you being in the army with the training and stuff like that? Are you adaptable to this? Mentally was mentally was a little bit. I think it suits me because I do have that. Um, how how do I put it? The, physical side of things, whereas I'd be classed as resilient or tough Okay. a better word. So I think being in there with these heavy hitters and stuff, the army kind of helped me be good at what I'm doing at the moment as well. I suppose you've seen it all. Have you done many tours yourself? Just one. I've been in Africa. I spent four months in Chad in Africa. Oh, very good. Okay. Yeah. So you know what's tough and what's not tough. That's it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, um, yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant that, uh, as I say, it's a big, big show on the 4th of April. It's great that you're going to be showcasing it on live TV on Showbox, and I think it's channel 212. We'll put it up in the end link. Um, it's, it's about boxing, all about boxing. So it's a free channel to view. Everyone watch it, and we'll be very interested to see how you get on there. And before we leave you, I just wanted to say we, we, we have some very unconventional training methods. From what I gather, you pull trucks around Luke, is that true? <laughs> yeah, um, it was something that I had in my head. It's like slave pulling, except it's slave pulling to the absolute it's extreme. It's like a car that's nearly two ton, and you're strapping up around your shoulder, and you're trying to get up as much speed as you can over a 50 meter stretch. It's great, absolutely great for the legs. Everybody knows the first thing that always goes on a boxer is his legs. So I think. And was this is this your own method? Or it would be my own method. <laughs> well, the army would kind of, of kind of helped along because I've done stuff like that in the job as well. So I try to bring any crazy army training that I do. I try to bring it into boxing training as well. I find that does work very well. I think I think there's an element of a Rocky Balboa story <laughs> definitely here. We look forward to seeing him. Very interesting character. Um, and the 4th of April, um, I just, just I suppose, firstly, you have a good bit of support to gather for yeah. this food. Well, I have, like to thank all my family for starters, are all behind me 100%, and then I have all the lads from B Company, 7th Infantry Battalion as well, all the army lads are in there behind me, and also my sponsors, ASL, and 5 Times as well. Excellent.